In addition to spreading the word about his new album, Jacob, Ty's schedule stays nonstop busy with a new podcast series on mental health and continuing work with his foundation for love and acceptance on behalf of LGBTQ youth. So you are staying real busy. Tell <laughs> me, though, about the podcast. Wow. You know, well, in, in this, uh, this miracle that I call sobriety, um, we kind of changed our mission statement a little bit with with our uh, foundation because we now include getting detox for people because it's sometimes really hard uh, for people to get away for a long period of time so just uh, just just a quick fix to so you can make some good decisions you know so that along with helping the kids has been just great to add to that um, but we have um, um, we have been so busy it's and the podcast <laughs> is called soundboard it's called soundboard yeah. and uh, I think it's helped me keep my mental fitness well, but to sit down with, with, with great artists and friends like Leon Rimes and, and Cody Allen and Michael Ray and uh, have the great Crystal Lewis coming up uh, in the next one and um, sitting, sitting down with our, um, our, our past mayor, Megan Berry, um, this week as well, just her, her journey with sobriety and stuff. So, What do you hope people get from the podcast? That people... People are broken, hurt people, hurt people, great people, help people. We are, we are not put here to be perfect and maybe just to take it easy on yourself and recognize the things that are wrong. And we, I've got a line of t-shirts coming out that, that, that say, once it says sober on the front, on the back it says, and I'm fun, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> just putting a kind of a, we're all mental right now. You know, we've been through so much and just and stop being, you know, just stop being ashamed of, of, of things that mistakes that you've made, and and um, bring your scars to the center stage as well, and just and talk about it. It makes it so much smaller, you know. It's just it's just authentic truth, and it's, it's I, do, I do this a lot. I go take a breath. Uh, I feel like I was always running backwards uphill, and I'm just walking down a really cool meadow, you know, talking to Vince Gill, and just hanging out and writing songs and taking care of myself, take care of my family. And it's just, I feel like um, I've, I've come a long way to get right where I need to be. We started the interview talking about how long you and I have known each other and kind of a journey that we started being in the closet, not being able to say or be who we really were. Right. Um, I look at you now and I see a, a different person <laughs> sitting in front of me. And I've, I've known you for, like I said, for a long time. But I got to ask you, is it hard? Is it hard doing what you're doing right now? Um, I think the schedule gets a little, a little crazy sometimes. I think probably the first couple of years, people, you know, in sobriety maybe do one big thing. We've done like 11, but I've been doing this a long time. I've got a lot of sobriety under my belt, um, but it, it's, um, that part's not hard. It's, it's, it, it's the suggested things that we do. Um, do I have bad days? You know, and I do, but I've learned to do things to make that better. I mean, I would get barefooted and walk outside, put my feet in the grass and stand there and I'll meditate and just get feel the earth's energy, you know, and some days it's God and they're all connected. So I feel very connected. I do f feel like that I've never been as loved in my entire life. That's always been there, but I was able to feel it for the first time. I remember getting home from four months of treatment, walking in my house um, and pain and misery were just my best friends. They, I was used to them. So where the, he where the heck were they? What's this joy crap? You know, I don't, I don't know how to do that. So I actually, I, did, I called a couple of my counselor friends and said, um, this is going to be weird, but I, what do I do with this joy thing? So I did a trauma pottery class. <laughs> I did a trauma tango class. I didn't learn to do either one of those things, but it was around people that were trying to do the same thing. Right, right. So What's involved in a trauma yes. tango class? It's crazy to think that you have to practice joy. Uh -huh. You have to practice happiness. It, it is a feeling, just like the, all the others. And um, I have a lot of joy in my life today. And um, it's just, it's awesome to see people that you've known for a long time open up to you for the first time and sit down and just have a conversation, man. Because there's just nothing, there's nothing that we can't talk about. I talk with friends of mine who are in recovery and they often, we just have some, some deep conversations, talk about the things that, that tr the triggers, um, mm -hmm. you know, the things that they have to avoid. Right. How do you, what's your advice to people when those triggers hit? Well, I mean, I have, uh, right by my front door, I have a little, a little th frame thing that's under my, my uh, um, 
my road to relapse, 11 things that I need to look out for. And here's the other thing. Recovery is very personal. We, we, we keep it that way. I came out of the gate talking about it a little too much, um, but I'm glad I did. But I realized all of a sudden, wait a minute, this is, this is, this is my town. This is the town I had to build. So be really careful who comes in, into my town. I burned them down before. This was, this was built on a better foundation, and it has a bar in it. I can go in a bar and hang out with a friend. It has a jail in it, too, but that's where I keep my disease. That's outside of town. <laughs> <laughs> so you can guide the story now. Yeah, you, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, I, have, I've, I, have, I laugh a lot today, and for some reason I've discovered the gift of gab. I think, think I was stage shut down. I was afraid to, to speak almost. And my sweet mama said, we're sitting at uh, dinner one night, she goes, you sure do talk a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a lot to say. <laughs> Is that bad, mom? No, I just pointed it out. <laughs> That's awesome. Got about a minute left. I do want to ask you your, your foundation, uh, the Love and Acceptance Foundation. So just we'll talk more in another episode about it in detail. But just tell me in about 30 seconds kind of where the foundation is now. Well, we're getting ready for our, our eighth year. Uh, we're doing Christmas this year. The concert for Levy Sunday comes home for Christmas. So we've got a lot of artists excited about that. We'll be back at Music Fest next year. Um, we are... Um, moving and shaking with the foundation. We, we got big plans this, this, uh, this coming year and into next year to, uh, to help a lot of people. Awesome. Awesome. Ty, I cannot <laughs> thank you enough. I tell you, you are my hero. Um, so you've sweet. done a lot of work, and, you, and I look forward to everything that's coming up. Who's that guy? Uh, uh, I tell you, <laughs> this guy right here, this is the album, Jacob. You don't want to miss it. Ty, thank you so much again. And we are going to talk to you, though, about in more detail the Concert for Love and Acceptance is coming up in December. So I look forward Absolutely. to that conversation. I love you, man. All right, thank so you. that's all the, the uh, time we have for this edition of Out and About Today. It's been a special edition, a conversation with Ty Herndon. You guys have a good time, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.